Hello everyone. Today let us consider one geometric proof. That is, prove that cos of x plus y equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y geometrically using unit circle concept. So let us consider a unit circle. Unit circle means a circle of radius 1 unit. Now let us consider an angle in this circle. Let it be x degree. Consider one more angle. That is y degree. Also consider an angle in the clockwise direction. Let it be minus y degree. So we considered an angle P0, O, P1 as x degree. So angle P0, O, P1 equal to x degree. Angle P1, O, P2 equal to y degree. So P1, O, P2 equal to y degree. And finally P0, O, P3. P0, O, P3 equal to minus y degree. Along with this, if we measure P0, O, P2, that means this full angle, that is the addition of x degree and y degree, will get x plus y degree. That is actually P0, O, P2. Now let us consider the points P0, P1, P2 and P3 with their coordinates. As the point P0 on the same line OP, the angle considered is 0 degree. So, the coordinates of P0 can be written as cos 0 and sin 0. But value of cos 0 is 1, value of sin 0 is 0. Similarly, consider the angle X. So, the coordinates of P1 can be written as cos x sin x. Next we consider the angle x plus y for the point P2. So coordinates of P2 are cos of x plus y sin of x plus y. And finally to get the coordinates of P3 consider the angle minus y. So can be written as cos of minus y sin of minus y. Now let us consider two congruent triangles. Consider triangles P1, O, P3 and P0, O, P2. That is triangle P1, O, P3 and triangle P0, O, P2. These two triangles are congruent because using SAS postulate, side angle side postulate, the side OP0 is equal to side OP1 and side OP2 is equal to side OP3 because they are the radii of the same circle and the angle formed at the center O is also equal. Therefore, the triangle P1OP3 and triangle P0OP2 are congruent. As these two triangles are congruent, we can say that the remaining side P2, P0 and P1P3 are equal. Therefore, P1P3 equal to side P0P2. We can also say that P1, P3 square equal to P0, P2 square. We know that if A of x1 
वन वाई वन एंड बी ऑफ एक्स टू वाई टू बी द गिवन टू कॉर्डिनेट्स देन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए बी कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन द होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन द होल स्क्वायर लेट एस यूज द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट टू गेट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी वन पी थ्री एंड पी टू पी सी लेट एस कंसिडर द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पी जीरो पी वन पी टू एंड पी थ्री दे आर पी जीरो इज वन कोमा जीरो पी टू इज कॉस ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई साइन ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई एंड पी वन इज कॉस एक्स साइन एक्स एंड पी थ्री इज कॉस ऑफ माइनस वाई साइन ऑफ माइनस वाई Now let us use distance formula to get p1 p3 square equal to p0 p2 square. That is cos x minus cos of minus y whole square. This is because I have considered distance between p1 and p3. So difference of x coordinate that is cos x. Minus cos of minus y whole square plus. Now consider y coordinate. That is sin x minus sin of minus y whole square. This is equal to cos x minus. This is cos of minus y, and we know that cos of minus y is equal to cos y whole square plus. Sin x here sin of minus y, but sin of minus y is equal to minus sin y. So this minus becomes plus now. So sin x plus sin y whole square. We know that this is of the form a minus b whole square can be expanded as a square plus b square minus two ab. In the same way, this is of the form a plus b whole square can be expanded as a square. Plus b square plus two ab. So if we expand like that, we'll get cos square x plus cos square y minus two cos x cos y plus sine square x plus sine square y plus two sine x. Sin y. Now we know the identity cos square theta plus sin square theta. That is one. So if we combine cos square x plus sin square x together, we'll get one. Similarly, cos square y plus sin square y. That is also equal to one. That is two minus two times cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. So let us consider this as equation one. Now let us move on to calculate p zero p two square. That is the x coordinate of p zero. That is one minus x coordinate of p two. That is cos of x plus y. So difference of x coordinate whole square plus. Now consider y coordinate. That is zero minus. Sine of x plus y that becomes now sine square of x plus y. If, if we expand this using the formula a minus b whole square, we'll get a square plus b square minus two ab. That is actually one square one plus cos square of x plus y minus two times a into b. That is two into cos of x plus y. Plus sine square of x plus y as it is. Now, if we use the identity cos square of x plus y plus sine square of x plus y, that comes one. So one plus one two minus two times cos of x plus y. Let this equation be equation two. If we combine equation one and two together, we'll get two minus Two into cos x cos y 
minus sin x sin y equal to 2 minus 2 into cos of x plus 5. So cancel this 2 on both the sides. We will get minus 2 times cos x cos y minus sin x sin y equal to minus 2 times cos of x plus y. Again cancel that minus 2 on both the sides. We will get cos of x plus y equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. And this is the result which is needed. That is cos of x plus y equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Thank you.